as the best ever. Uh, this kid's got all the talent in the world, but he's got to ride them one at a time, and I just love the kid that From Strong City, Oklahoma, five-time champion, Sage Gibson. Last year's finals was a train wreck, really. I found out middle of October that I had a, a totally torn ulnar collateral ligament in my elbow, um, so I didn't get on any bulls from the middle of October. I got on one bull from the middle of October to the NFR. You know, going out to the NFR, the last play, that's the last place you're going to have any doubts in your mind. Well, I would say the one thing about the national finals, you, know, you have to be focused and you have to be ready, but you, you, you just can't get too excited or too disappointed uh, because it's a, it's a long 10 days, and especially in the bull riding, any, anything can happen. Champion Sage Kimsey of Strong City, Oklahoma. Mortimer, the bull of Big Stone, they won. Got out there, great. One. Great first round draw, um, Mortimer, Julio, Marinos, and um, I knew that he'd give me a good shot to win a good check. My hand popped out of my rope, and uh, you know, then the, there was just no control of my get off at all. Got off in a bad spot, landed on a shoulder that I've had problems with ever since I was probably in eighth grade when I dislocated it the first time. I've rode with separated shoulders a bunch. Uh, it's just extremely painful. There's nothing that I mean, you're not going to tear anything up or. or do anything to hurt yourself worse. It just, like, it just hurts, period, all day, every day. And I've never seen someone in that much physical pain. And it's really sad because no one knew. So the whole time, Sage is saying, don't tell people, don't tell people, like, because I don't want that to be a crutch. I don't want that to be a crutch. And that's the type of person Sage is. He never wants anyone to make excuses for him. You know, the first round really kind of just set the tone for how the NFR would go. You know, had some success, but you know, you just knew it was going to be a grind from that first round. You, you hear all the old guys talk about how it's the roughest 10 days in, in sport. And I'd never really experienced that before. I mean, I'd had a few bumps and bruises, whatever, but, uh, you know, nothing to really keep me from competing well. So it just took a lot of the fun and the, and the joy out of what the NFR is, especially, you know, with all the pressure and all of, um, you know, the people's expectations as well as my own. Sage, Sage is struggling. I don't know if it's mental or physical with him. Right now, you can see him, he's holding his shoulder or something. But it, this is going to be a, a finals to forget. And, and he just, the other day, he was saying, he goes, man, he said, I just, he said, I'm not used to getting on the end of my arm. And he says, I'm having a hard time trying to figure out how to get back to the front. And, it, you know, it's just not working out for him at all. And this bull set him up and not having a trip. Yeah, he collided heads pretty hard. His bell is rung right there. It's a whole one thing to have injuries, but when it hits you mentally and there's people in the stands screaming that you suck or people coming up to us saying, I picked you for my fantasy team, what the heck? Or Sage Kimsey's lost his touch and the announcers on the TV each night are saying, like, this is not the Sage we know. But every night he got up and he showed up and he got on the bulls wreck after wreck after wreck and it was brutal and then it came down to round 10. You know, that's just the time you kind of got to grit your teeth and, and push through it all. It was just one of those things, you know, could you block out the pain and could you get the job done? Shooting stars, he always goes the right and that's what Sage said, that's what I need right here. And I mean, he went out there and just kicked right there in the lights around to the right and Sage just kicked loose and I mean, it was a picture perfect bull ride. Eli Vassbinder came up and he pulled my rope. He grabbed it. I can't remember what he said exactly, but uh, whatever he said, it really motivated me and really fired me up. And, and uh, he, he got me really jacked up and, and ready to ride and, um, you know, got down on shooting stars and the, the rest is history, so they say. Ladies and gentlemen, let's say Chimpy you're looking at. He is like a slot machine. He just keeps paying off, making the ride, making the number 93 points. The largest score in the bull riding this week. It was just like 
the best blessing and curse that we've ever had in our entire life because it was the worst week I would ever say in the finals. It was not fun. We both were ready to go home by like round four. Um, but in that moment, it was just like, thank God, because it kind of rededicated him to the sport. I think there was a growing up phase that the maturity level, I saw it change a lot from number four and five. Last year was a tough year. I mean, he started out rough, it, it, it started ending rough. And so he knows that if you, if you, you can win nine titles, if that's what your goal is, but how you got there, how you treated people, uh, how you went about your daily business, never too, too tired to stop and shake a kid's hand or take a picture. Um, that's what lives on the rest of these people's lives. He had to have this dream in his mind when he was a young kid. I think that happens with all, all young athletes, no matter what world they might be competing in. He had the determination and uh, the dedication to, to make it happen. Sage has won five world titles. He's yet to lose. Uh, if, he, if he continues to stay healthy and he continues to be motivated, there's no doubt in my mind he can win 10. But there's a lot of bulls to be ridden between now and then. When Sage is in uh, the 10th round to win his ninth world title, uh, I would love to have the opportunity to, to pull his rope and tell him the same thing that Jim Shoulders told me when I won the eighth world title, is uh, when it feels good, spur him a little. We back, got back to the room and we sat down and we held hands, we prayed and we just started bawling hysterically and I feel like even in success in rodeo, sometimes it's bittersweet and sometimes it earns tears and it's a very loving game but it's a very tough game too. But it also kind of shows you how bad you want it. And I think after last year, like, I hate to say this, but the competitors better watch out because it showed Sage Kimsey a whole new grit that he didn't even know he had. I feel good going into this year's NFR. Um, it's a lot different than kind of my preparation in the past. I think every year, you know, you just kind of learn more what works for you, what doesn't work for you. and. Um, you know, the older I get, I feel like the more prepared I get. 